when it comes time to choose in what camp bed is best for you, you can pick foam, self-inflating, cots, air beds. I was confused, that's why I've ended up with all this stuff. So I've asked 10 YouTubers to show me their favorite type of camp beds. Here they are. Hello, Mr. Wild Wales, thank you very much for uh, asking me to review my sleeping arrangement. So, I'm a bit old school and I love a foam roll mat. I always go for foam roll mat, this is just like a military standard issue one, but they're no different to any other foam roll mat out there. I've been let down too many times by inflatable ones, you know, I know there's good ones out there, but you can't really destroy a foam roll mat unless you tear it. Um, I don't really have anything luxurious. I've got an issued bivvy bag, which really helps with the wind. And obviously you can get wet, keep yourself dry. I don't use any sleeping bag liner or anything like that. I have a really basic setup, but I'm quite blessed. I can sleep comfortably anywhere, really. Um, I do normally have the hammock with me as well. But I like to chop and change in a little bit. Sometimes I just decide to go without it or whatever. Just keep it fresh. But nothing nothing too crazy there. Like I say, it's a really simple setup. But it works for me. And I'm just so used to it. Years in the military sleeping on the floor on a foam roll mat. You know, it's just what I'm used to. Hello everyone. Adam McWild here. Dressed as a bit of a chav. And looks like I've got something which you'd use as protection on my head. Um, but I'm here to talk about my uh, my uh, my mat that I use for camping. So I've got the Berghaus. It's the Berghaus Peak Pro Insulated Air Mat. It comes in a, a bag that size. So it packs down really small, which is really handy. So I'm just going to blow it up and show you how it performs briefly. Just pretend the camera's not there and blow your mat up. And there she is. Probably about two minutes to get it up. Um, but yeah, let's give it a test. There it is. Um, it's all right. It does the job. It's cost me 60 quid in go outdoors. Um, not the most comfortable of things. Let's be honest, it's bang average. I'm looking for a new one. I wouldn't say avoid it because it does do the job. It is quite comfortable, but there's definitely better out there. Hotep, my man, Adam Wild. Hi guys, I'm Monty Outdoors and I hail from Scotland. I'm currently enjoying lockdown myself in my flat, desperate to get back out. So, in summer, I generally do two things. That's either use a closed cell phone mat, or use one of the cheap sleeping mats that you find on Amazon. Starting with the closed cell phone mat, it's cheap. You can normally find one for about £5. It's lightweight, and it fits perfectly on the bottom of your backpack. I find it generally very comfortable and it does the job down to about what? Eight Celsius, but I had a friend who used one of these in winter and the nighttime temperature was four Celsius and they had a very warm sleep. And secondly, I would use the mats that you find for, you know, a relatively cheap price on Amazon, for example, the Deeply. They are far more comfortable. They appeal to a wider audience and also relatively light, I think the Deeply was around 600 grams and it fits perfectly into your backpack, doesn't take up much space. It's also got a very similar R value. So again, it's, it's suited for temperatures down to about 8 Celsius. The downside to the Amazon Max, and this has happened to me twice, and it's happened to my friends, four in total. Um, it appears that they all burst after four uses. So in the future, for next summer, 
I will be looking to invest in the OEX Traverse. I've had an OEX Fulcrum in the past and it did an absolutely brilliant job. It lasted me a whole year until I accidentally set fire to it. And I may, may also look into investing in the Trekology sleeping mat, which is also getting very good reviews. And finally, in winter, anything below, say, 4 Celsius, I use my, the ever so popular, Thermarest Neowear X-Lite. It's got an R value of 4.2, takes you down to about, what, minus 14. Very lightweight for a sleeping mat, it's only, I believe, 380 grams. I think it's 380 grams. Out of all the sleeping mats that I've had, all the Amazon ones, the OEX Falcon, the OEX Traverse, the Cell phone mat, this is by far the most comfiest and I would say it's exceptionally, it's just as comfy as a bed, believe it or not. And as you can see, it fits perfectly in your backpack. Anyway, I hope you found that little video very helpful. And that during these tough times that you're all keeping mentally sane and looking after yourselves. And who I am. Hey, UK Bushcraft here doing a uh, camp bed review for Adam, or as I know, Mr. Wild Wales. Um, so as you can see in the background, uh, here's the trusty camp bed. I've had it about two years now. Uh, been used a few times both uh, on outdoor activities, but also in the house when we've got kind of guests staying over and things. Um, so it's from Song Mikes, uh, which is quite a strange name, if I'm honest, now you think about it. Um, but it's a foldable camp bed. I bought this for a couple of reasons. One was, um, I guess both its width and its length, so um, I'm sure people will say that's not true, but six foot tall, I wanted something where I, I could kind of feasibly properly sleep on it. Uh, so it's about 205 centimetres long, uh, 75 centimetres wide, and as you'll see from some of the pictures, it's almost half a metre off the ground as well, which means uh, you don't necessarily have to be in a clearing for it to uh, be workable. I think it holds kind of plus 250 kilos, so it's plenty big enough for, um, uh, in terms of sturdy for how big you are. I bought this one on Amazon, as I said, a couple of years ago. I think it was about 70, 75 pound there, thereabouts. Um, rated four and a half star. And, and do you know what, out of, out of five, I'd probably agree with it. Um, there's not many downsides. If, if it is, it's probably a little bit squeaky when you're in the middle of the woods and it's really quiet, uh, just when you move around. Uh, but do you know what, it, it, it's about it. Um, it, uh, it comes with its own carry bag. Uh, it's about nine kilos, so it is a big piece of kit that you are taking with you. Uh, but I always carry it as a kind of extra, so rucksack on, and then just kind of pop it over my shoulder. Yeah, it's a bit, bit of weight, but uh, depending, as long as you haven't got to move too far to, um, uh, to where you're getting to, it's pretty good. Um, so look, I highly recommend it. But yeah, big thumbs up, like my camp bed. <laughs> using jam knots to do the frame together. May I add it? Yeah. So, you know, the flat grind is a tiny micro bevel. It could comfortably have worked there. When the frame is done, if you can see, I've got a beam across there. That's to go under my legs. And the other section then for my body is left with nothing there because it's posture sprung. Now it's ready. It's pretty strong and I definitely know that'll take my weight. I'm laying with the stalks down to my feet and the springy bits up to my body. So I'm going to put a few of these down and then I'm going to cut some smaller ones and I'm going to lay them in a herringbone fashion so when you get on and you're moving about, they don't move about. First thing that goes on is a reflective sheet and this is for reflecting the heat of the fire back at you. Then the clear plastic goes on top which comes down the front but you leave an air gap at the back so you can breathe. 
and then the parachute silk goes on top. So that's basically the super shelter. So you've got the mylar on the top to reflect the heat from the fire. Nice big thick spruce bow bed. And I know I'm going to be toasty in there tonight. I may be a bit too toasty. Hi guys, it's Paul here from Acumbrian Lead Outdoors. Now I own three sleep mats, um, the first of which is the OEX Traverse. Now I bought that one just to get me going. It's a self-inflating foam filled mat. Um, the pros on that is it's quite warm and it was relatively cheap to buy to get me going. I think it cost me about £20. Um, negatives of that one is it's very bulky, not overly comfortable, especially if you sleep on your side. Um, and it is quite a slim mat, so it, it's very easy to slide off. I often find that I've uh, slid off it when I use that mat. The newest mat that I've got is the Climate Insulated Static V. It's an air mattress. Now I've only used this the once, but it was up at Harab Tarn in minus five conditions, so it performed fairly well there. Uh, it is still very comfortable. It's got a good R value at uh, 4.5. Um, it's very quick to deflate again, it's got a novel air valve system and that also packs down relatively small as well. Um, as I've only used it once, um, I haven't got any cons for that so far, so um, I'll keep you all posted with that on my channel as to how I get on with that. And also worthwhile mentioning, I do an awful lot of hammock camping as well. Um, so I tend not to use an air mat when I'm hammock camping. Um, I tend to use my cheap Lixada under blanket and a good tip for you guys if you're uh, using a, um, an under blanket of a similar style of mine is I like to put my down jacket between the under blanket and the hammock um, it still keeps that air gap with obviously the, the down holding the air but it just adds that extra layer of insulation for you and I find it does help so take care guys from a Cumbrian lad Hello and welcome my name's Dan Cunningham and what I've got at the moment is a Trekology a Luft UL80. So it took me about a minute to inflate, just uh, blowing into it. Um, nice shape on it, as you can see, it's got a little ridge on each side, which helps keep you central. Lovely and comfortable, so elevated, not a single bit of my body's touching the floor. This is the best elevated mattress that I've ever used. It's the most sturdy, it keeps me in place. It's ever ever so comfortable. There are a few negatives. Um, it's got next to no insulation. You'll need a, a reflective sheet. You'll need some over top of it. Not brilliant as a standalone winter mat. Price point, I think you paid 40 quid for it. Simply, from a personal point of view, cannot find anything better um, without going, you know, almost three times the price. Big, big recommend. Hi everyone, Gaziano Outdoors here. Yeah, my favourite camping bed at the moment has to be the Trekology UL80. Weighs in at 560 grams. And it's really compact as well, it's about the size of your hand. Yeah, I've used it on my last five wild camps. It's served me well so far. It's quite quite a big mat, it's 91 centimetres long, 57 centimetres wide. With me being quite tall, quite big as well. It's been a really good mat so far, I find it really comfortable. Right, so this is the Trekology UL80, fully inflated. I mean, you've probably seen these already because they are really popular at the moment. Yeah, it's a decent fitness. I think it's eight centimetres thick. And I've used it on my last five wild camps. It's been really comfortable. It's just a shame that the R value isn't slightly higher for winter use, but I'm really happy with it. And this is my favourite bed at the moment. Cheers, Mr. Wild Wales. Hi, everybody. My roll mat of choice, uh, it's about 20 year old, was a 199 bargain from Netto, so 10 mil foam roll mat. Uh, cons, it's a bit bulky, this one's a bit battered. Uh, pros, lightweight, doesn't get any punctures, idiot proof, and it's pretty comfortable. So, the form mat is my raw mat of choice. Right then guys, 
So this is my mat, the Firm Arrest X Firm Max. Plenty of room on this thing. Totally recommend this. It's got a 6.9 R8 in. Perfect for the UK. Well, it's overkill really for the UK. Yeah, this is my uh, go-to mat for the winter when you use nothing else. Absolutely love it. And guys, if you've got a Trekology pillow, make sure you've got a strap. Oh yeah. Back over to you, Mr. Wild Wales. Oh yeah. The OEX Ultralight. Ultralight being a bit misleading because it's 2.4 kilograms. And it's the comfiest camp bed I've ever laid on. I think it's 43 quid. I was interested in it because of this girl by here, because she keeps managing to pop my air bed, so I'm just trying to look for something different. Now, if you decide you do like these cots, Firma Rest to one which is about 1.2 kilogram, which is a lot better really for carrying long distances. I don't think I'm going to be carrying this very far. It's heavier than my tent. But it's very comfy. The other thing this would be really good for is camping on lumpy ground. So if there's a lot of rocks about, you're not going to feel them on this, are you? That's one thing I always find, that I'm lying on the ground. It looks perfectly flat. But you've always managed to find a lump underneath you somewhere. Now the legs is the bit you do need a bit of strength for. When I tried doing this the other day, I, I did pinch my, my thumb in this. Make sure to keep your fingers right away from that. There it is. Lovely and comfy. Luxury camps on me. Right, big thank you to everyone who was involved with this video. Uh, giving up your time and showing us what you use to take camping. All these guys have got unique styles. If you liked any of them, the links are in the description below. Please go and check out their channels.